Welcome back. We're here with Chef Doug Simon from the casino at Lakemont. And Doug, uh, you know, this is football season. And so we might be having guests over at the house. And uh, what are, what's a great idea to host people over and maybe you still want to class it up? Well, Whether this, it's a football or other party, you might want it a little classy. Yeah, so this is something that we do a lot of for uh, some of our catering parties. It's a mashed potato martini bar. It's pretty easy. It's just being able to make a great bowl of mashed potatoes and then being able to provide any number of toppings for your guests. So we've got cheese, onion straws that I made, uh, chopped bacon, peas, some scallions. I've got some chili and some gravy. I'm keeping warm under the saran wrap. Uh, this is uh, your basic mashed potatoes. potatoes. I used red potatoes. You can use Yukons, russets, whatever floats your boat. If you want to mm -hmm. take the skin off, take the skin off. I always throw several whole garlic cloves that I've smashed into here. Okay. And uh, we cook these with plenty of salt because the potatoes, you want to have the flavor in the potatoes in advance of uh, cooking them. And you want to get them as dry as you possibly can. So sometimes I like to let them sit for a little while, but since we're a little short on time due to TV, we'll just shake, shake them well, them shake bit. them well, um, and I'll let them drain for a second here. Here I've got butter and milk. Um, if you want them really rich, use half and half or heavy cream, and that'll, and that'll help uh, just bring some real richness to it. I'm gonna put these back into the pot. And that's a well mashed pot. You this can pot tell. has your mashing. This, this pot. is yeah. This pot's <laughs> gone through the ringer several times. And I'm just going to add all of that right in there. I've got my handy dandy potato masher. And I like them chunky, so you know that's fine. And the nice thing about the garlic that's in here also is that the garlic has been um, you know cooked so much that it's soft. So I think once you get a good amount of the mashing done, uh, you know, I can use a, uh, a whisk. A whisk. And some people like mixers. Right. You know, exactly. And if you're, yeah, I'm a hands guy. I, I like to have my hands into just about everything I'm cooking. So a um, little bit of sour cream also for richness. And then we'll just get that all mixed up nicely. And I can, this is a little bit easier, I think. Then using the masher. I'm going to get my fingers in here, by the way. That's all right. You got to taste, right? Make sure they're Make good. Sure the salt's right. You see, if you do the same thing, yeah, then, uh, then I'm good. You'll huh? see that the salt that I put into the pot to cook, I didn't have to add any more salt to this. That's perfect. And you can taste the garlic, and the garlic is nice and um, it's not bitter. Yeah, it's perfect. I'm going to guess you might want something like this. Yeah, to so get we'll it take this from a glasses. serving standpoint. We're going to put it right into this beautiful bowl I have here. And then if you're setting it out for your guests, you've pretty much got everything that you need. So potatoes, glassware, spoons, all your stuff here. Well, we got, uh, we got a, we uh, a guinea pig right here. Hey. Rebecca, oh, I'm I sorry. Of course, I didn't mean I didn't mean that literally. Look at how beautiful yeah. this is. So, and then I okay, use an I ice come cream over scoop by Rebecca here since we want to hear her. Okay. And oh, we'll yes. and we'll ice cream scoop a couple of yummy dollops of potato in here. Who would have thought? Pick, pick your uh, toppings. Oh, and then I know this is TV, uh, Rebecca. Bacon, We're going to run out of time. The bacon and the onion. So, well, you have to start a couple of them with gravy. <laughs> we'll do some gravy on them. Ooh. You and know, then a couple I of them we'll do with some chili because chili's kind of a great football food and actually it really goes well with on mashed potatoes. potatoes. Oh, yeah. So they and look then amazing. So what do you like? You like some bacon? Uh, yeah, she the loves bacon. bacon. We'll do we some bacon hey, just on them. <laughs> bacon makes everything better. <laughs> we'll do a couple of, the chili always goes good with cheese. cheese. Are you going to do a chili and a cheese and I'll do the bacon with the gravy? Uh, mm. I want bacon and oh, cheese and peas. Scallions, scallions is always good. Scallions goes with like everything. everything. So, Doug, we have to ask you, though, about the uh, March of Dimes Signature Chefs Auction. Um, I know you're not competing this year, but You've been a part of it, it for years. You I have. It's a great event. It. It's a great event. We started that event, pff, I don't even know how many years ago, Eight, 18 years ago, I think it is. And... Um, it's been a great event. It's a chef showcase. If you like the restaurants in town uh, and you want to taste their food, uh, it's oh. always a great way to sample some things that they are trying to do. 
uh, differently. <laughs> uh, most of the restaurants don't necessarily only do things that are on their menu. And as a caterer, mm. I never do anything that's on oh. my menu. So I've done things like this. Uh, we did a breakfast uh, display in, in miniature a couple of years oh, ago. Oh, wow. This is great. So these and are fun, aren't they? Easy to carry this around. the fried around. onions real quick? The fried onions, a little bit of flour, onion uh, powder, garlic, uh, granulated garlic, salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and then you just shake off all the extra and throw it into the deep fryer. Um, which obviously not everybody has. Cheers. 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 Chef Doug this Simon. Is a, this is a great idea. It's a good cocktail. Honestly, this is my Alcohol type of free, unfortunately. <laughs> hey, we have these martinis and then a real martini. And then other martinis. <laughs> of course. That'll be in a different segment. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, Doug. Well, Cheers. Uh, th thanks for, uh, for watching this segment. We'll be back after a quick break.